Several people suffer from acid reflux or GERD problems. But what they don't know is that by making a few changes to their diet, they can get rid of the GERD and they don't even have to take any medications for it. Hi, I am Dr. Anshil Gupta. I'm a functional medicine expert. I help people reverse their chronic diseases by making personalized functional medicine plans. So acid reflux is a very common problem. Almost everybody suffers from acid reflux some or the other time in their life. In some people, what happens is that this acid reflux becomes a common problem that they have to take some or the other medications for it. Either over the counter medications which are antacids or either prescription medications like Prilosec, like Omeprazole, all of those medications. But now we know that there are certain dietary changes that you can do so that you can control your GERD or acid reflux on by natural ways. Food actually plays an important role because what we realize is that acid reflux is a not a problem of production of excessive acid. It is actually a problem of not able to digest your food properly and that food accumulating in your stomach and causing it to rot over there and actually that leads to the acid reflux problem. So if you improve a diet by removing foods which causes acid reflux problem and by including foods which are healing to your gut and your stomach and improves your digestion that way we can improve your acid reflux on natural ways. So let's talk about it. So let's talk about the first thing is the foods which you need to remove if you have acid reflux. So as I explained to you there are several foods which causes destruction of your stomach lining and also causes inflammation in your gut and also interferes with the proper digestion of your gut. And those are the foods you need to eliminate to improve your GERD or acid reflux symptoms. So the first food is gluten containing grains. So gluten time and again has been shown that it is related to several gut problems including acid reflux, GERD, stomach pain, stomach cramping, bloating, all of these symptoms, you know, can be because of gluten. So it is very important to eliminate gluten containing grains from your diet. So now these gluten containing grains are wheat, rye, barley. All of these grains need to be removed from your food. The second thing that needs to be removed is dairy. So dairy is a very important reason that most people have gut issues these days because dairy is very inflammatory to your gut. It leads to the destruction of your gut, good gut microbiome, it interferes with the digestion of your gut and that's way it leads to acid reflux problem. So it is very important to eliminate all kinds of dairy, you know, from your diet. Yes, that does include cheese also, unfortunately. Okay, but if you remove these things, you're going to see phenomenal results. The third thing you need to remove is caffeinated beverages. These caffeinated beverages are regular teas, regular coffees, even green tea can be irritating to your gut and it might be a good idea for you to eliminate green tea for a short amount of time. So what does caffeine do? The caffeine actually irritates your gut, especially your stomach lining and that causes inflammation in your gut and that leads to the development of acid reflux or the GERD symptoms. So that's the reason it is very important to remove the caffeinated beverages. The other beverages that you need to remove is all these carbonated beverages especially the sodas, all different kinds of sodas need to be removed. Uh, certain kind of carbonated water might also be a good idea for you to remove for a certain amount of time. Okay. The other food that need to be removed is processed food. All kinds of processed and fat fast foods need to be removed from your diet because these processed and fast foods, again, they have so much trans fats, they have so much inflammatory things in them that they again interfere with the absorption and it also interferes with the digestion of your gut and again leads to acid reflux. So those needs to be removed also. High fat containing foods. So certain high fat containing foods like fried food, like fast foods, needs to be removed from your uh, food on the regular basis. Now certain good fats, you know, like a little bit amount of olive oil, little bit amount of coconut oil or avocados, those are perfectly fine to use, but we don't want to have a big fatty meal on the regular basis, okay? So these are the basically and the spicy foods. The last food that you need to remove is spicy foods. Yes, everybody loves spicy foods, but those spicy foods might not be good for your gut 
at least for the short amount of time. Okay. So these are all the food lists that you need to remove to actually to kind of improve your gut or improve your GERD symptoms. Now then what do you eat? What are foods for your GERD or acid reflux? So let's talk about foods that are good. Okay. So first thing is that eat whole grains, whole gluten free grains. Okay. Those are important. So which are those? Rice, especially brown rice. Quinoa is good. Millets are good. Buckwheat are good. So these are all whole grains which are gluten free that you can eat on the regular basis. Dairy free alternatives like coconut milk, you know, uh, like some of the oat milks, you know, even a uh, flax uh, milk is good. Almond milk is good. So these are all dairy free alternatives which are good for your GERD and it also help you with your acid reflux that you should include on the daily basis. Now certain kinds of fruits. So there are certain kind of fruits which are good for the acid reflux issues which you need to include on the regular basis like watermelons like bananas like blueberries so these are good fruits that you should include if you have acid reflux then you should include some of the vegetables which are good for you so some of the vegetables like cucumbers are great for acid reflux green leafy vegetables are great for acid reflux your carrots your celeries all of these uh, vegetables are great so non-starchy vegetables are wonderful for your acid reflux now most of the time what i have seen is that cooked vegetables like you know steamed or very slightly sauteed vegetables are actually better for people who have acid reflux as compared to raw vegetables so maybe try to cooking them a little bit and i think that is going to help you out with your acid reflux too now let's talk about drinks so we already spoke about drinks or things, beverages that you need to exclude, but let's talk about drinks that you need to include. So first of all is that bone broth or vegetable broths. Those are great things that you can include on the daily basis uh, that will be helpful and healing uh, for your gut. Then you can also include some little bit about of apple cider vinegar that is also going to help you out with your digestion and also help you improve uh, with your acid reflux, but make sure you take it with the meal and not empty stomach that is going to be helpful for you Okay, so those are the things you can do some of the spices actually are useful for your acid reflux, too You know, we spoke about a spicy food to eliminate that is different and the spices I'm talking about is like ginger and turmeric Those are great things that you can include on the regular basis or eat on the regular basis Which are also going to help you with your acid reflux, but in a very very small quantities You do not want to include them in a huge quantity because again, they can actually be causing uh, your acid reflux problems too. Okay, so you see, these are all the foods which are healing for your acid reflux that you do need to include. So, if you follow this diet plan where you have to eliminate certain foods which are bad for your acid reflux and you need to include all of these foods which are good for your acid reflux, you will see tremendous results. And most of the time, you know, your acid reflux will be gone and you will not need medications for it. But as a caution, if you are taking long term medications, it is very important to discuss with your regular doctor how you should wean those medicines off. Because if you stop them suddenly, then you might have problems uh, with it. OK, so make sure you talk to your regular doctor or maybe a functional medicine doctor before you stop those medications. So you see, acid reflux is a very common problem, but by following this diet plan, you can kind of get rid of it. OK. Well, I do offer online virtual functional medicine consultations for people all over the world. So if you want to improve your health or if you want to reverse your diseases, then you can get in touch with me and I can help you out. The link is in the description. Thank you so much.